Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how you can make butter. I hope you stay tuned. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to teach you the simple tips of making butter. You know, butter is really something that's very easy to make. Did you know what butter is made out of? Heavy whipping cream. That's right. Here is the cream out of the milk. Now if I had my own cow, I wouldn't have to buy any whipping cream. A lot of people say, but Tessie, whipping cream is really expensive, and it can be unless you find it on sale. Today, I got one quart of heavy whipping cream for $1.99, but you know why it's so cheap? Because it has to get used up. So what better way than to make butter? A lot of people have so many questions about making butter. Yes, you can freeze the whipping cream, thaw it out, and you can make butter with it. But why not make butter right away? So all we need is a mixer and our heavy whipping cream. Now, yes, you can make butter by just shaking the jar. But when you're making a large amount of butter, if you have a mixer, it saves you a lot of hours of work. Basically, we're going to churn this into butter. Now, you really want to have your whipping cream at room temperature. Mine is a little bit colder. The colder it is, the longer it takes to whip into butter but it's so simple. We're going to pour a quart in and I'm going to show you how much one quart makes. So what's the fun about making your own butter? Wow, you can do all kinds of neat things with it. Now my butter is going to be unsalted, but you can add salt to it. You can put it in all different kinds of molds. These molds came from my very good friend Ellen. You know, she's one of my very first subscribers, and she watches every single video four years later. Imagine that, all those videos, and she watches every single one of them. Ellen got me these. I think she got them at the thrift store. All right. We poured our whipping cream into our mixer. Now it's going to go through stages. The first stage of your whipping cream is going to actually turn into whipped cream. That's what whipped cream is. Whipped cream is heavy whipping cream in the mixer with a little bit of sugar, but we're going to go beyond that step. After it becomes whipping cream, you keep mixing longer and all of a sudden you're going to start seeing some butter fat. Butter fat is your butter. Now because this is going to take me about 10 minutes long, I'm going to show this in stages. So let's get the mixer started. And you want to whip it really, really fast. And then I'm going to show you something that you have to be really careful with. Once it gets close to the stage where it turns into butter, you can have a real slop mess if you don't watch it. So, we're going to start whipping away, and I'll see you in just a few moments. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty, shake, shake, shake. Come on, we can exercise while we're doing it. Shake, 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 shake that booty. <laughs> see you in a little bit. All right, we're five minutes in, and now we have another five minutes to go. Right now, we're at the stage of the whipping cream, so we got to keep on going longer until we start seeing some yellow butter fat, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now we're starting to see small clumps. It's starting to look yellowish. Now we're starting to get to the butter. We want to keep going. What's going to happen is it's going to separate the butter fat from the whey. The whey is a watery liquid, and the butter fat, well, you'll see, it'll look like butter. Now you want to really watch it, because once it separates from the butter fat to the whey, it can get really sloppy mess because the whey will start splashing everywhere. So you want to keep watching it and turn down your mixer once it gets to that stage. You could also do this in a blender. You can also do this in a food processor. And you can do it in a quart jar with a marble, but I don't recommend that because that would take forever. So let's see how much of my butter for $1.99 it makes. And a little bit of electricity, but not much, really. So if you can't find butter at your store and you really want to have it, get yourself some whipping cream and make your own. And it's so good. It's, the taste is nothing like store-bought butter. All that we need to do is, once it turns into butter, it'll turn into a ball. 
we just take that ball and we put it in water and we knead it a little bit to get all the milk way out of it, which helps preserve it. Now this butter, what I will do is I will put it in molds and freeze it. Once it's frozen, I pop them out of the molds and then I keep my butter in the freezer that I'm not using. It just helps preserve it. This kind of butter may not last as long in the refrigerator as store-bought, but it's so much worth it. All right, I'll get back to you when we have it into butter. All right, since this step is so important, I want to show you. Now we're getting the butter. Now you can see the sloshing around. Now it's the butter and the whey. So we turn it way down when we get to this point. We are absolutely done. We are actually done now. So what we're going to do is turn it off. And there is our butter and it's separated from the whey. Now the whey you can use for making bread and things like that. But here is the butter. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a bowl and we're going to put the butter in that. All right, and that's our way. You're gonna take your spatula and we're gonna work the butter out of the mixer. Now you wanna make sure that you get heavy whipping cream. Light whipping cream will not work, it has to be heavy or find somebody who has cows that would give you the cream off the top. Better yet. All right, I'm not gonna clean this off too good because I'm actually making another batch. Now what we're gonna do is, we're going to wash this butter in water because we wanna get all the milk way out of it. And that will help preserve it longer. What we do is we're gonna wash the butter. See, it's butter, look at that. Make sure we have it all. We don't want to waste any of it. And we're just basically taking our hands, washing the butter until the water runs clear. At this stage, you can put in herbs if you want herb butter. You can add a little salt, but I like it just the way it is. All right, we're going to get all the water out of it, and now we're going to put it in our molds. So we take our molds. There's nothing we need to do. We don't need to spray them or anything like that. And we're going to just press our butter into our mold. Now, you don't have to put it in a mold. You can just put your butter like this. But I like putting it in molds because I think it's just absolutely so pretty on the table in a mold. The Victorians loved having their butter in molds. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead, pop these in the freezer, and I'm gonna make my other batch. So I'll show you what everything looks like when it's done. All right, everyone. 24 hours later, this is what the butter looks like. You just Pop it out of the mold. All right, everyone, 24 hours later, we pop the butter out of the molds. And that is what they look like. Now you could get really fancy, but that is how the butter looks. I hope you give it a try. 
have served this on your dinner table, people will be very amazed to see such pretty butter. Take care, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. I also want to give a special thank you. Thank you, everyone, for enjoying these videos of me cooking low-budget, low-cost food. It really makes my heart glad to see that so many people are viewing this, these kind of videos and that you're enjoying it. So, stay tuned because we have a whole bunch more of cooking videos coming your way. Cooking Homestead Tessie style. See you guys tomorrow and a big mwah. Bye, everybody.